The beach was always my backyard. I used to go there constantly with my family, with my friends, and I was always fascinated by, by the sea, by the waves, by the organisms that were there. I used to play in the sand and see all the animals that would bury down in the sand. And I don't know, the ocean always had this pool. I remember the first time I even knew that there was a degree called marine science, which is where I come from in Barcelona. It's called science of the sea. And I was at that age where I had to make a decision between science or the humanities. I was quite drawn towards the humanities. But the, the, the name, you know, science of the sea, it was like, you know, an invitation to go and explore this kind of mysterious world that we knew so little about. And then I started kind of finding out more about it and fell in love with the idea. I find diving underwater very calming and it was particularly so one day because everything's quite quiet apart from the sound of your bubbles. And at one point I realised that I was feeling almost zen-like and in the background, in my unconscious mind, I was actually listening to the sound of a blue humpback whale singing. I couldn't see the whale, but the sound was travelling from far, far away and reaching me. Working at sea is incredibly intense and invigorating and inspiring. We're on a big ship. The ship works 24 hours a day and you're in shifts, doing 12 hour shifts. So you're constantly working, surrounded by your colleagues, just buzzing. But then when you have some downtime, you go out onto the back deck or up onto the bridge and you just soak up the ocean itself and you just feel, I am at sea and the world is so big and I feel so small. It's, it's a really stimulating and exciting as I say, I grew up with the oceans and I spent my life looking at the oceans and wondering what was in them, what was going on about them, what was under them, and marvelling at their expanse and their variety. And they're fascinating to me just as an intellectual sense, but they're fascinating as a legal sense as well. The oceans cover 70% of the Earth's surface. And as I say, they can't speak for themselves, so we need to speak for them. Now. Having said that they cover 70% of the Earth's surface though, there's an interesting statistic. If you take all of the volume of water in the oceans and put it into a sphere, the diameter of the sphere is the distance from Chicago to New York. In other words, it's not that big. There's not that much water on the surface of this planet when you think about the size of the planet itself. So there's nowhere near as much as we all think there is, which is all the more reason why we should try to uh, think about using it sustainably and carefully. We need to be careful not to overuse them, not to abuse them, and to protect them for us and for future generations. On World Oceans Day at UNSW, we reflect on how the ocean connects us all. Our UNSW researchers work hard to understand ocean environments and we are passionate advocates for evidence-based policy making, helping to create a sustainable future and celebrating the many forms of life that the ocean supports. Happy World Oceans Day.